Here we go. Conception. Leave it to me. Stand ready. Here we go. Thanks. 
Acceptable damage. Swift and resolute. Ha! Ha! I stand ready. You don't look like soldiers. Why are you here? The frontliners are right up ahead. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. A missing person. Ju Yan. The one you're looking for. Is he an average person? Not a resonator, I suppose. Yes. Have you seen him? Is he all right? I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secret. I think a quartermaster of the... He must be in the rear guard's camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front... Thank you. Now, if you're heading that way, I have a request for you. My out on your way there, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Could you go check on them? Sure, we will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your terminal.
inception. Is that the beacon? Hmm. Hmm. They don't look like soldiers. Greetings. What might interest you here? It's dangerous. Oh, uh, we, uh, nothing really. You see, we're just on our way south, to the city. Excuse me, about this detection beacon. Run, everyone! I... I can't move. So hungry. Please don't arrest us! We really had no choice. What happened? Do you need help? The battles are getting real bad up north, and we couldn't live there anymore. Figured we have to go back to the city. We ain't eaten in ages, and we're broke. Some of us can barely move, because we're so damn hungry. Then we found some expensive-looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these things, we thought it might get us a few pennies. A damage detection beacon might result in a sudden TD invasion from the direction it covers. Our frontline troops would face attacks from both sides. Have you thought about the consequences? No, we ain't got the time for that. If we don't steal, we'd starve to death before the tacit discords kill us. You shouldn't be stealing public property. Please, return the- There's still some distance from here to Jinjo City. Here, you can have my flatbreads. Oh, and here's some money. This should be enough for you to reach the city. You're giving us all of these? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you! Come over and say thank you before you eat. It was nothing. Master once told me, the sage takes care of all men and abandons none. I just helped you. Uh, Why did you attack us? You're not feeding us all with your bread and pennies. Hand over your goods and work to face the consequences. We ain't messing with no kids, but don't test our patience. Just do as you're told. Don't make it tough on yourselves, or you'll be lucky to leave in one piece. I will not bend to injustice. 
Rover, Yang Yang, please step back as I handle them. We're begging you, stop! We surrender! Take us in! Why did you attack us when I already gave you food and funds? Do you have other mouths to feed, aside from what we see here? Hmm, they seem trained. These are not ordinary people. Uh, of course we're ordinary people. We, we, just, we just joined the Exiles recently. We've done some wrongs. We tried to run from the patrollers and left the city, but <laughs> dang! Didn't know the battles up north were so crazy. Our new boss ran out of food before we could even figure out the camp. Figured we'd be better off just to go back to the city and get locked up. Then we ran out of food and cash halfway, so we turned to thieving. We ain't got the balls to rob the army, but with stuff just sitting around, why not? Hey, since you're being so generous, how about you throw a little extra cash our way? There's a bunch of us, some injured too. Your first amount ain't gonna cut it for us to survive. Wait, what I gave them was enough for them to make it to Jinjiao even when they are so many. I used to travel alone when I left my master. I know how much it takes for someone to survive. Hey, what's wrong with you, girly? It won't hurt to give us more. Pain comes with coveting. He who knows he has enough is rich. It was only meant to sustain you long enough for you to reach the city. You don't understand, girl. You don't make money very easily at a time like this. If we can't find jobs in the city, we gotta starve again. I came from a seclusive place, learning the ways of the world from scratch. It's been a hard time, but even I have managed to make a living with my own hands. If you really can't find any job in the city, come to Liu Xian Tea House and ask for Jian Xin. I will gladly help you search for jobs and work alongside you. <sighs> fine, fine. We'll go. Hurry, move, let's get out of here. I'm not listening to this lecture anymore. No, I wasn't trying to... Wait. Please put that down. Ugh, quite the sharp eye you got. Fine, here you go. Hmm. Is this the only detection beacon you messed with? Heck yeah. The first one we were trying to steal and you bumped right into it. Really? Then why does that one over there seem broken too? That, that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's been that way for ages. Plus, we ain't ever reaching it with all those thorns. I see. You may leave now. The military's base is not far from here. Shall we fix the beacons before going? Why hesitate if you know what you want? Conception.
Stand ready. The thorns are blocking our path. Hmm, weird. We'll have to clear them before we can reach the... Conception. Oh, please be careful. They look sharp. Hmm, maybe we can find something nearby to help us deal with them. Master Tianxing, are you all right? This is my first time on a battlefield. It feels so different here. I know another shipment of supplies has just arrived. I've confirmed it, but it's not nearly enough. We must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately. But the approval process is going to... Tell them it's an emergency. We are working around the clock here. Any delay could mean the end of our... I'll talk to them if you can't make them listen. Now go, go, go. Move, move. What is it? Why are we still not done distributing these? You new here? Are you backups too? Wait, you don't look like one of us. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. And they are... Excuse me, one moment please. Careful! This chest holds vital medical supplies. If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handle with care and precision. An outrider. So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just... Oh, sorry. Have to answer this. Yes? What is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'm sorry. Um, could you do me a favor? The, wo 
The wounded soldiers are being sent back from the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. Could you please take care of them? What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. Thank you. It's so busy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance, personnel management, and logistics. They so this is what a real war looks like. <sighs> I had Most people would never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for. To ensure peace and safety for our citizens. It's a sacrifice. Like I said, it's not a big deal. No need to fix me up. Let me go! Please calm down. Your wound is still bleeding. That's barely a scratch. You can't stop me. That's not bravado. My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medics should go take care of other people in need. Stop squirming, will you? We're here because you need our help. Calm down, and stay where you are. Please, hold him still for me. Sure. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm okay. I'm just, just a little out of breath. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'll go find a medic. Thank you for your assistance. You must be tired. Please, take some rest. They look badly injured. Don't worry. They've received proper treatment now. They'll recover in time. Thanks to General Jian, we've seen a significant drop. I've heard from veterans that soldiers used to be ordinary people, not resonators. The battles were brutal even back then, with the stench of blood lingering through the rain. But things have improved. Each injury represents countless tacit discords eliminated by our brave soldiers. Resonators in the Midnight Rangers are incredible warriors. Those who have to retreat from injury must have already taken out hundreds of enemies. They are the ones keeping our people safe. What I've been doing is not worth mentioning compared to them. Please don't put it like that. Without your help, we couldn't have helped so many wounded soldiers in such a short time. Now that they're all safe, you should go and take care of your own issues. Thank you. May I ask where the Quartermaster is? The Quartermaster isn't here. He's on the floor above, directing munitions distribution. Just take that lift and you should find him there. Rover, where are we going next? Here are some recipes for dietary supplements from my sect. They might help the wounded recover sooner. Oh, great. You have my thanks.
I have the key to solving this question. Have you confirmed the inventory? What about the spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. Ewa, deliver this list to Asha. Uh, you're not Ewa. Where is she? What do you need? Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. This is Rover, and this is Master Tianxing who came here to look for someone. I saw you help arrange the wounded there. Your show lamb would need your help more than I do. Thank you, but I must remain to oversee vital military supplies. Sure. Please excuse me. I'll join you later. What? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> please excuse me. Thought that was a grenade. <laughs> Is this a mangosteen? Well, it's not a local fruit, so we can only get it through imports. But with the recent tacit discord outbreaks, we've had to prioritize bringing in the essentials. We'll get back to importing more of these after General Jian makes his triumph. Uh, currently, there's only one waterway open from Port Gunchao in the south of the city. Uh, the rear guards would regularly go there to escort goods. Hmm, what more do I know? The military rarely buys this fruit for rations due to its short shelf life. Plus, it, it looks too much like a grenade and uh, that could cause some issues. It's a type of old-fashioned explosive. The lament caused a global technological regression and shortage of resources. While tacitite weapons were being developed, most people had limited knowledge of tacitite as an energy source. As a result, primitive products combining old and new technology emerged. The hand grenade was one of them. 
With the rapid growth of Tassitite weapons, these crude explosives were eventually phased out in favour of more advanced weaponry. Master Tianxing, have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhu Yan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhang Ye to let him know he is safe. Zhu Yan is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering, but the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, the best sages gain enlightenment in the military. The media- I do share some of Juyan's feelings. However, Juyan disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators, and believed he could contribute on the battlefield, however small that contribution might be. I too found what Zhiyan said was reasonable to an extent, and I couldn't change his mind with words. So I tried to imagine what my masters would do. They'd set up a spar in this case, and if I won, they'd let me do what I wanted. I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing, my masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring, and I gained important insights from those fights. Now all tangles untied, all glare tempered, all dust smoothed, it is like a deep pool that never dries. How true! I've come to understand this line more. I promise not to use my forte in the battle, but Julian still can take a single blow from me. After his defeat, Zhiyan seemed to realize his weakness. Talking about confronting the tacit discords on the battlefield would be mere lip service, he said. He was just trying to convince himself that he could make a difference, not wanting to acknowledge his own limitations. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, let's catch up at Liu Shan Tea House. It's my great pleasure to have met you. <laughs>